In part one, myself and Gordon left Loch Eilert and headed south to the lovely sandy beaches at Camas and Lay. After a sandwich and coffee and stunning surroundings, we continued on our way to the southern sea entrance of lovely Loch Moidart. By passing the main southern entrance, I headed instead to a narrow gap behind the rocky reefs of Elan Shona. From the sea there's not much to see until it opens up into a lovely lagoon of green water over soft sandy bottom. This is affectionately known as Lost Shoe Bay because of the tendency of the sand to pull your shoes off while you walk on it. As well as Lost Shoe Bay being a lovely sheltered place to see and be, I also use it as an indication of the tidal depths in Loch Moidart, which is a shallow sea loch. I know that when, on a rising tide, I can float my boat over the sandbar at its exit, the water is then deep enough to navigate the North Channel, which dries out completely at low tide. On this occasion, the rising tide was covering the sandbars already, so we didn't stop to look for lost shoes, but continued our way on into Loch Moidart. A pair of sea eagles have made their home on Eel and Shona, and they often nest in the depths of ancient forests. I often see them flying above the trees or perched on a high branch, but this time there was no sign. So we headed for the ruins of Castle Chiram. and landed on a small beach where no foe of Clan Ranald would have dared to land in the 14th century. The castle was eventually seized by government forces in 1692. It was retaken by Alan MacDonald of Clan Ranald, who set it on fire around 1715 to keep it out the hands of Haverian forces, and it has been unoccupied ever since. Having learned a little of its history, we clambered back in the boats and headed for Loch Moidart's inner basin.
We were now heading back to sea by going down the narrow, shallow north channel. At the ford, where locals drive across to Eel and Shona at low tide, we had two feet of water under the keels. I had the advantage over Gordon as I've been this way many times before, so I know where the rocks are that will take out an unwary propeller and went back on the plane where possible. Soon we are back in the open sea, heading along the coast and into Loch Ailer. Back at the cars we tied up the boats, ate our dinner while watching the sunset over our last boating trip of 2020 before the coronavirus lockdown. We then sat on the beach beside a blonde fire, slurping tins of gravy and swapping tales of old until we had enough for one day. Another great adventure was over. Thanks for watching and stay safe.